speaker is Corinne Mayer. She's uh, French, I guess, but lives in Belgium. Is it still the case? Yes, Corinne. Um, she's droll. Uh, she's very understated in person. And she last wowed us here at Idea City a couple of years ago when she spoke calmly, eloquently, about constructive laziness in the face of corporate indifference and cubicle-induced madness. So now her latest outrage is that she has trained her laconic, ironic style on kids. She thinks that having them is a mug's game. She says the chances are your kids will disappoint you, if not outright kill you with <laughs> incessant demands and total ingratitude. She says, motherhood is a black hole that traps women forever. And she asks you, if your family was dysfunctional, why do you think you're going to do any better? <laughs> Do you want to sit in the chair, or do you want the no, chair I'm or something? Stay. You're going to stand? Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me again. <laughs> Have you seen these celebrities showing off their pregnant bellies on magazine covers? <clears throat> Children will make you happy. Nothing is more important than our children. Nothing is more beautiful than a, than a smile on a child's face. These are the common values we are bombarded with. I know what I'm talking about. I'm French, and France is, nowadays, the baby center of the Western world. Why is it so important to have children? Why society expects us to have children? What is a good parent anyway? Let's talk today about one of our greatest taboos, our, one of our greatest modern taboos, namely reasons for not having children. Baby propaganda. Already, France is totally intoxicated by baby propaganda. I think that it's also the case in other countries as well. Governments and the lucky economists typically argue that we need new generations of adults in order to pay, through taxes, our current welfare system. But it seems that baby propaganda has more to do with national identity, a dusty but fashionable idea in Europe, than it has with economics. My compatriots think that the perfect family model is by definition the French one, the only one allowing for the proper exercise of our tradition both cultural and social. And baby propaganda has also something to do with uh, a much feared clash of civilization against the Muslim world. Uh, so I think it's obvious that behind this ID, this baby propaganda, there are ideas that can seem old-fashioned, but they are still there. And uh, if new uh, workers were all that was needed, uh, new immigrants will, would be welcomed with open arms. Obviously, this is not the case in Europe today. In France, women are actively encouraged to have children. They receive financial aids. And this is more and more the case in other countries as well. They have to manage different demanding and often contradictory roles. 
the perfect French woman, the ideal French woman, must be employed, a mother, and must be sexy. <laughs> of course, it is difficult to do everything, and as a consequence, they are often relegated to low-paid or middle management positions. They are far less likely to reach senior positions than the, their American counterparts. Um, the other point of uh, the other, there is another reason for this baby propaganda. Capitalism needs consumers. Big, having children creates big consumers who buy bigger car, bigger apartments, and new, new washing machines. Uh, these consumers uh, create new markets. So, of course, big companies love children. Having babies creates consumers that very often are gullible, gullible parents and they buy anything and everything to, to be good parents. Having babies is also seen as a way to be a good citizen. Those who dare say that they don't want children are seen as bad citizens. They are viewed as anarchists, selfish people, and they are deemed to have missed something of vital importance. Um, in France, we don't, have, we don't have a word for child-free as opposed to childless. We say sans enfant, it means uh, childless, and it's always negative. When, I book, when my book, No Kid, 40 Reasons for Not Having Children, was released in France last year, there was a lot of debates. <laughs> and the first phrase of the book, Certain Days I Regret Having Children, was considered very shocking. <clears throat> Obviously, it was also considered shocking in English-speaking countries because despite 10 foreign language translations, no UK or US uh, publishers has been willing to pick it up. Good mother. How a mother dares say that certain days she regrets having children. How a mother dare say that sometimes she'd like to be elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> to live another life without dinner to prepare, waking up at 7 a.m. School, kids, kids, um, kids homework. How a mother dare say that sometimes she, she dreams of another life or she dreams of having activities maybe outside the house and outside children. It's true that there are things a mother is not allowed to say. And um, I was considered by some people a monster. I am a monster, that's for sure. And to make things worse, I made money out of my lack of sensitivity. <laughs> Sensitive mothers do love their kids at every moment of the day. They keep the picture in their wallets. They never, ever regret having them. They make homemade cookies for birthdays and parties. Their toddlers record the answering machine.
They only have friends who have kids themselves. Their sole topic of conversation is the children. They never ever regret having them. The, the sole goal in life is the children. Uh, they have few opportunities, low wages when they work, and the life of a soccer mom. It's obvious that for these women, uh, children are our future, but the problem is they have no future, they have no present. And what will they tell the children once they grow up? You are the meaning of my life? Isn't it a bit heavy for a child to hear? <laughs> and all this to say that you'll probably be disappointed by your child. <clears throat> happens in France, but in other countries as well. <laughs> and because being a parent is very frustrating, he or she won't be exactly uh, the image of what you expected, but you've given so much You've expected so much. You've expected a kind of return on investment. The reward never comes. Or when it comes, it comes in a way that surprises you and you don't recognize as the result of your own, of your doing. Having children doesn't make you a better person? Would your life be better with or without children? Who knows? And mine. If I, hadn't had if I hadn't had children, I would be touring the world with the money I've made with my books. <laughs> but I don't complain because I spend my time doing things I love. But there is still a problem. I work at home. <laughs> and my children are there. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever I do, I'm still a mother. And no, they are not traumatized by my book, No Kid. They have not read it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, that's quite normal. They prefer Harry Potter. <laughs> Nevertheless, last week, my, my daughter was, was flipping it, and she had this to say. Mom, your book is kind of vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> I was pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.